What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another happy show of Tinder Tasty Tea Days. If you guys don't know what Tinder Tasty Tea Days is, let me explain, my friends. Tinder Tasty Tea Days is where the family and I get together and we get to let you guys be the family. We rate Wizard 101 stitches sent in by you guys via Twitter using the hashtag Tinder Tasty Tea Days. If you would like to enter in a Tinder Tasty Tea Days website, I'm not the one. If you would like to enter in Tinder Tasty Tea Days, all you gotta do is head over to Twitter, make a post, and make sure you leave the image of your stitch in the post, uh, at me in the post, at Smojo SF, and use the hashtag Tinder Tasty Tea Day. If you do all those things, I will see your post, I will see your stitch, and I shall rate that bitch. I am also hosting an event called Stitch Off where uh, people come together and they compete in a big prize of $50. The best stitch will get the prize and the community votes on which stitch is the best. So if you're interested in that and you want to submit your stitch to win 50 bones, all you got to do is hop in the Discord server and leave the image of your stitch inside of hashtag W101 Stitch Off. You can submit how many stitches you want, uh, you know, there's no limits pretty much. But yeah, other than that, my friends, let's go ahead and get started in today's episode of Tinder Tasty Tea Days. Yes, I'm a rookie, but I am with pros, though. I've been grinding, just working on me. I don't got time, I no time for you hoes, though. For this episode of Tinder Tasty Tea Days, we got a stitch sent in by your girl, Kennedy. Hashtag, I mean, not hashtag, but a shout out Kennedy because Kennedy is lit. And, and she always submits stitches and, and is just active. So yeah, shout out to Kennedy. Kennedy says, here's my Smith stitch. I actually like it because I actually put some work into it, unlike my other stitches. I think this is my favorite one out of all of them I've done on my account. Hat, spider, robe, ab amit. Oh, these are their names. Okay, so hat, spider, robe, amit, boots, mirror leg, wand, crown shop. Oh, oh those are the locations to get the gear. Okay, I, I was, I was because the last 10 or 10 days I did, I didn't know where she got the gear. So yeah, thank you. Thank you for putting that hashtag. Tinder Tasty Tea Days. I do like the stitch. So far, at a glance, it looks pretty solid. But yeah, if you guys don't know how we rate stitches here at Tinder Tasty Tea Days, you look at the top, there's some emojis. There's the eye, brain, star, and the 100. The eye basically means does your stitch look visually pleasing? You know what I mean? Am I looking at your stitch and I actually like what you got on? You know what I mean? That's pretty much what the eye is representing. Um, and then the brain is does your stitch make sense? Does like the, the, the materials that the gear is made out of, the wand that you're using, you know, all that stuff, does it actually make sense to go into one another and does it does it work together you know what i mean uh, the next one the star is how unique your gear is um do we actually see your gear around how hard is it to actually get the gear um and and and, and yeah and then the 100 is all of those three combined for your final overall rating on your stitch so yeah let's go ahead and get started we're gonna be starting with the eye does it look good you know kennedy i will say that i do like this stitch more than your other stitches however I think you could do better. I, I I I think I think I think you could do better. Now I'm not saying that your stitch is bad, right? Your stitch is definitely not bad. However, I, the the main thing that's a problem with me right now is the colors. That's the main thing. Now I'm not saying you chose bad colors. I'm just saying when it comes to your hat, your boots, your robe, and your wand, I feel like the colors don't really correlate that much. Like, let me explain why. So so your robe, right? Your robe is a blue, gold, and a little bit of white. There's like a little little feather. Thing at the bottom it's a little bit of white which i like i like it i like that and it, it mainly correlates with your wand because your wand is pretty much I, I don't know if that's purple and gold or blue and gold but it's pretty much it, it, it matches with your rope pretty much now when it comes to your hat and your boots your boots are primarily white that's the that's the main issue with me your boots are like primarily white you know what i mean um whereas your wand and your robe aren't primarily white so it's like you got it's like they're flip flopped. It's like they're inverted. You know, you look at your robe and you look at your boots or your hat, and it's like they, they the colors just got inverted. I think it would look better if the boots and the hat were also the same primary color as the robe. Or unless you can change the color of your robe's primary color, because I don't know if you can. I don't know if you could change the color of that robe. If you could change the color of that robe, I would definitely change the color of that robe to white and then a secondary of blue, because I don't think you could change that gold color. You know, I don't think you could change that gold color. If you were to do that. I think this stitch would be gas. The only other thing that I can see that I don't like is your hat. The fact that your hat doesn't have any type of blue in it kind of throws me off as well. It does have the white in it. It does have the gold in it, but it doesn't have a single lick of blue. And I don't think you can do that with that hat. If you can, that would be dope. But if you can't, then, you know, I kind of, I, I, I kind of understand, them, you know, other than that, the only issue I have is the colors, man. If you can fix those colors to make them correlate a little bit more, uh, where they all have the same or similar primary colors with the same or similar secondary colors. You know what I mean? I think that would be dope. I, I really do think that would be nice, you know? But yeah, for the googly eyes, my friend, I'm gonna give you a seven. I'm gonna give you a solid seven out of 10 for this one. Now for the doesn't make sense. I mean, honestly, it really does. Like it, it, 
it it definitely makes sense like the only thing that i would say that doesn't make sense in my opinion might be the boots maybe not really but maybe like if i were to pick something and i'm like hey maybe you should use different boots it would be the boots if i were to choose something that i think should change it would be the boots and mainly because with those boots you have like that big fluffy part at the bottom and i don't know i don't know if i like the way that fluffy part kind of works with your robe because you you look at your robe and your robe is kind of like sleek and it's kind of like skinny or you know what i mean it's it's like there's no puffed out parts of your robe at all you know what i mean so when you have that and you have like some puffy boots at the bottom it kind of it kind of throws me off but other than that i really don't think there's anything that i would say that doesn't make sense in your robe you know so i'm a, i mean on your stitch so i'm gonna give you a nine on, on this one i'm gonna give you a nine if it, if you had like some different boots maybe then it, it would be a perfect 10 but i'm gonna give you a nine on this one now for the last one uniqueness you know honestly your gear is completely unique you know what i mean the only is there's two pieces of your gear that aren't to be honest and i you know it, it's the it's the boots of course it's the boots the insignia elegant boots of course um and then your wand which i think your wand is unique the only reason why i wouldn't say it is is because so many people buy it when they see it because it's such a nice wand but other than that you know what i mean it is pretty much a it's like a one of those high tier wands a little bit overused because so many people buy it but other than that it's it's really solid you know what i mean it's really solid i think i'm gonna give you an eight on uniqueness um, because your robe, no one uses that. It's unique, you know, and your hat, no one uses that. It's unique. Your wand is one of those expensive-ish items, and then your boots just aren't unique, in my opinion. But, you know, other than that, I think it's pretty solid. So I'm gonna give you an 8 on unique. So overall, your final score will probably be an 8, an 8 out of 10. Not bad, though. Not bad. Like, your stitch isn't isn't bad i wouldn't say it's top tier but it isn't bad the only thing that i would change about the stitch is maybe get some different boots maybe like you can still use insignia boots just not the elegant insignia boots you know what i mean i would take a look at the slippers uh that i love so much that's what my death was there i would take a look at those because you know it doesn't have the fluffy part i personally think they look nice and they could very much so correlate with your robe because of that you know what i mean and maybe try to find a different hat if you can't make that hat have uh blue gold and white in it at the same time if you can't you could maybe get away with just gold and blue um because you know your wand doesn't have any white in it your robe barely has any white in it so you might be able to get away with just gold and blue um and then maybe have some white eyes or something if you really want to have another piece of your gear that has white in it other than your robe you know what i mean but i would definitely change your, your hat color to to blue and gold or purple and gold i don't know which which one is which right now but yeah same thing with your boot other than that it's a really good stitch you know eight out of ten not, not bad not bad good job i expect to see this stitch and stitch off kennedy but yeah thank you for watching guys if you guys want to enter in uh tinder tasty tds all you got to do is go over to twitter follow me at smojo sf make a post using the hashtag tinder tasty tds and make sure you have your stitch inside the actual post and again if you want to enter in stitch off which is a 50 dollar competition for stitches if you want to enter in that all you got to do is join the discord server go to hashtag w101 stitch off and then send an image of your stitch you can send as many as you want and yeah that's that's really about it other than that guys thank you for watching i hope that you enjoyed if you did don't leave uh, don't forget to leave that don't leave don't forget to leave that like button you know what i mean small youtuber algorithm you know how it is don't forget to leave that like button and leave a comment down below on what you or rate the stitch and i'll see you guys in the next video have a great morning evening afternoon get your meats and i'll see you guys later I'm a shine now, uh, yeah. I'm a shine now.